Hey everybody, John Van Dweller here today and it is March 13th, 2019. Actually, it's kind of a nice day here in New Jersey. It's in the uh, mid to upper 40s, I suppose. So, I want to talk about the Mr. Buddy Heater and how we heat the van and things that you need to know if you're going to dwell in your van. And we're going to start first by, there it is. Everybody's familiar with this guy right here. That's the Mr. Buddy heater. And you get this little hose right there. And you get yourself a tank. In this case, I got one of these blue rhinos. Those are the ones you take to the hardware store and you do an exchange on it. And it's very simple what we do here. This is what got me through the winter. I went and bought this buddy heater and I bought one of these tanks and then I eventually got two of these tanks so when one ran out I had the other one because it had happened to me where it ran out in the middle of the night and it was a little cold. So this is what you need to know if you're going to heat your van and live in your van through the winter because without this buddy heater you're going to have a rough time. Well, the first thing you do is you buy this. It costs you about $70 to $75 depending on where you get it at. I bought mine at, uh, where did I buy mine at? I got mine at Lowe's, that's where I got it at. But they sell them at different places. The second thing you absolutely need to do is buy one of these. If you're gonna hook it up to a tank, which you're gonna have to unless you wanna go broke buying the canisters. You're gonna buy this filter right here, it's about 10 bucks. Then you're gonna get yourself a hose. I got a 12 foot hose. And you're gonna screw into that. now. This is how we, once you got that in there, this is what you do. You turn this thing on, like so. That pushes air, uh, the, the uh, propane down the line. Now, this is what I learned about this thing. With the, what you first do is you turn in the first click, and that's where the ignition starter is, where it makes a little spark. If I get in the right spot. There we go. And you click. And when you click, there's a little pile light here. But this is what I learned. If you keep clicking, 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 waiting for it to light, you're going to wear this thing out. So what I do is, the first click, I hold it down. That allows the propane to push down the line. And then when you do your second click, boom, you got a flame. Simple as that. And you can let me let, let that warm up for just a second. And then you go, you turn to your first setting. It's going to be tough to see because it's uh, it's not dark here right now. But trust me, there's a flame there right now and it's giving off heat. And then if you go to the next click all the way to the end, this sucker will get cherry red hot and it gives off a lot of heat. Now, next thing you need to absolutely know about this, and I didn't do this the first year, and I'm lucky I'm alive, I guess. You must get one of these. This is a carbon monoxide detector with a gauge on it. And what I learned with this Mr. Buddy heater, if I don't close these windows right here, I mean, if I don't leave them open, I crack it open maybe about a, a, an inch up top there to allow for circulation. Now, I got holes in the side of this van. You can't really see because I got the door on, but my van's sort of like Swiss cheese, so I do get air comes up through there. If you don't have that window open a little bit, and you're on the low setting, you will, this thing will produce carbon monoxide. Every time that I've had the window closed, and I ran this thing on low, my detector went off about two hours after I went to sleep. It would wake me up. So I learned a lesson. And I have found that if you have it on high setting, it doesn't it seems to burn better and it doesn't give off uh, I've never had the alarm go off when I've had it in the on the high setting so I'm just thinking that it burns better there's less uh, less uh, carbon monoxide being thrown up so it's very important that you have a little circulation of air and you have one of these things here that'll give you a reading as to how much and so far it's going off twice on me and I bought it for this winter last winter I didn't have it so there probably were times I was sleeping and smelling carbon monoxide, which is not good. Now, I want to talk about a few other things that I didn't pick up on right away. 
They have these things like Blue Rhino. There's another one out there that sells them. They're refillables. But here's what I learned. You have to buy a tank first, and then that's how you do exchange. But what I didn't realize right there, that's 15 pounds. That's a 15 pound tank. Now, if you go to like tractor supply store, they're going to sell you a 20, you get the 20 pound. That's a typical one. So you're going down to Lowe's or Home Depot, whoever's got it, and they do an exchange and it's 1997. So you're getting 15 pounds for 1997. And what I found that there's places like gas station stuff that sell propane $20 for 20 pounds. So you're getting screwed in a way with this because you're paying $20 for 15 pounds. If you buy the 20 pound tank, you go to a gas station, you get 20 pounds for $20. But here's the flip side. The flip side is that Lowe's or Home Depot, places like that, they're open seven days a week from six in the morning till nine o'clock at night, I guess. So you're, you're getting that convenience. Whereas the guy in the gas station, he may not be open, may not be available when you want it. So that's the trade off. And it has happened where I've had to go down nine o'clock at night and get rushed to get there before the store closed to get a tank. Now, the next thing I'm gonna tell you about with the Mr. Buddy heater, things that you must know. One, you must absolutely have this filter. The first Buddy heater I had, I did not have this filter on there right away. And what happens is that these tanks, masters, you buy these tanks, there's a lot of oil product in the, in the uh, propane. And what happens is if you don't have it on there, that goes in there and there's tubings inside here. And those tubings start to clog up with oil. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that you're gonna start getting a smaller pile like flame down in there because you're getting a restriction. And then finally what happens when it really gets starts getting screwed up is the thing will start to run and 15, 20 seconds after it fires up, it stalls out. That's because there's, it's clogged up with oil. It can't get enough propane through there. So you got a, you got a, you got a problem. You, it's, it's, it's too much. There's not enough propane with, with the oxygen that it's meeting with. So you got to have this. Now, as far as how often you got to change this, your guess is as good as mine. I've had this on you and I've probably had probably 10 tanks already on that thing. Uh, I would say I'm probably due to change it. I mean, your pilot light, I think, really is your indicator. So if you have one of these Mr. Buddy heaters and you're having a problem with the pilot light, small, you need to clean it out. I've taken these things apart. It just it never goes back together the way you want it to. Uh, if you want to clean it, I would recommend using some type of brake cleaner. You can get that at auto parts store. That stuff is really good. It'll it'll clear the oil out and it'll evaporate. And uh, so yeah, if you if you've been running this hose without this filter and you're having problems with the pile light and you're having problems with the thing not uh, running, it, it starts to fire up, goes for 15, 20 seconds, and then peters out. That's your problem. You've got oil all in there and it screws it all up. So spend the $9 to $10 and put that in there. The other problem I encountered with this is this switch. That clicking down there, it'll break. And that's why I say when you go to start this up, just push it down one time, let the propane circulate, and then hit the do the igniting one more time and it'll light up. That way you'll save that switch because this was the other thing that broke and ultimately that was the demise for the other buddy heater I had. This broke. So those are the things you need to know about the Mr. Buddy heater if you're going to get one. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Buddy heater in a van. It throws off a lot of heat. And I can tell you when it gets above 35, 40 degrees in my van, the low heating, it starts to get warm in here. It starts to get up to 65, 70 degrees. And when you got a sleeping bag that's designed for cold weather, you're either going to sleep on top of the sleeping bag or you're going to sleep in it. So that's the one thing I found. And the way to regulate the heat is by adjusting your window up and down, and that'll help. But you're throwing money out your window. That's, that's the downside to it. I do find that when it gets down into the low 30s, into the 20s, with this thing on low, It'll maintain a nice uh, temperature for me. A nice temperature for me is 
55, 60. You know, depending on what kind of clothes you got on, you know, it's uh, in your sleeping bag and what your comfort level is. I can tell you that one last year, when I was out here, it was down to about two, three degrees outside. I had this thing on high, and it was cooking all night long to keep me uh, warm. Now, in my van, as you can see, I put insulation, foam insulation up there. There's some uh, the fiberglass insulation behind it. I put it up there to try to keep the elements, to try to maintain some kind of uh, stability in here with the with the temperatures. So. But this is what has gotten me through, and this is my second one, and I bought this last early last spring, and here we are a year later, and it's still going with very little problems. And I just want to show you one thing. You see this little white stuff down here. This is my guess. It's the oil, little oil particles that do manage to get through when they light up. They spark and give off this little carbon stuff. That's what I think it is. So even with this on here, I think some may still get through, but it, it you got to absolutely have this and it doesn't hurt if you want to change it every five tanks, it never hurt changing it too much. Not changing enough can be a problem and I'll admit I need to change this. So, and finally you got to have this. This is a kitty, it's a carbon monoxide alarm, it has a lifetime battery in it and as you can see it's got a meter on that and uh, I gotta tell you, when I first bought this, I put this in the van, I closed all the windows, I put this thing on high, and I let it cook for an hour, and I never got a reading. But, as I have found out, when this thing is on low, and I have the windows closed, this will give me a uh, carbon, uh, give me a reading, a CO reading. So. Okay, there you have it. This is John Van Dweller and the Mr. Buddy Heater. And if you have any questions about the Mr. Buddy here, I probably could answer them. So feel free to post your question, and I'll see what I can do for you to answer that question. Because I know when I first got this heater, I was, I don't have much hair to pull out, but I was pulling my hair out trying to figure out what some of the problems were. And eventually I figured it all out because I pulled the thing apart, and uh, I am a mechanical kind of guy, and... Uh, I figure out what the problems were and where the mistakes were at. So learn from my mistakes and uh, maybe you'll have a, uh, a good winter in your van. This is John Van Dweller. Until next time, people, be well, be safe. And uh, if you like my channel, subscribe to it. And feel free to uh, share my videos with everybody. I don't make any money off these videos. I I'm just here to do my story. And uh, I'm sticking with it. Until next time. Guys, there was one other thing I forgot to mention. The hose that goes between the propane tank and Mr. Buddy Heater, that is a big suspect. It collects oil also. So if you have a filter on there and you're having a problem where the pilot light is going out and the thing is stalling out on you, look at the hose because the, the filter is between the hose and Mr. Buddy. It really should be between the tank and the hose, but it isn't. So that's another problem that I incurred. The feed hose gets clogged up with oil, and you could clean that out with brake clean, as I mentioned earlier.